Right, oh, Talio, they champs. Now, happy Apple Silicon Day for you. If you're getting one of these M1s, wow, whew. She flies. She goes hard. Now I have the MacBook Pro 16 here. We're going to do some gaming. Yes, some gaming on this thing. And I just want to cover some things that I'm getting in the comments, right? So this is not running natively. This is PowerPoint Office. And let me tell you now, wow, you wouldn't even know that this is not native. I mean, I just grab stuff. I just chuck it wherever. It's just super fast. And yeah, there's some screenshots there. Look, and that's not even native, right? And we're actually using quite a lot of RAM, actually. I had been using Swap before. At the moment, what have we got? We've got a few gigs free, but we are using some Swap there. But anyway, let's close PowerPoint. Office works, no problem. We'll talk about the Adobe products later. So Office works, please, if anyone has the link to DaVinci 17.1, please let me know where I can get it. Because I can get 17, but 17.1, which is the native Apple Silicon one, is the one I can't get at the moment. Also, everything else I run in my first video, so go check that out. It's my unboxing of this. And someone said, oh, it's fake. That's not a real Mac. Look, you don't get a box like that unless it's the M1 Mac. Anyway, it runs really well, but I want to show you something, all right? So Photoshop. Let's go to Photoshop. You're not going to believe this. So let me just go here. Let's launch Photoshop on this Intel Mac. This is the beast, the best i9 you can get, 5600 graphics M. And let's uh, launch Photoshop, all right? Yeah, take 100 years, all right. Let's do it there. Boom, straight away. Look at that. How much quicker was that? Of course, I've signed out of this to sign in here. So that's native, that Photoshop app. It's actually beta. And I cannot believe how fast native apps launch. Like, it's just out of this world. It actually reminds me of the first time I actually got, like, an SSD from a hard drive. Like, how much faster it was. It was just like, boom. Also, in my last video where I've done all the performance tests, the video editing tests, that was all. Everything was native. That's why I did not do DaVinci Resolve. I showed you the Black Raw speed test, but I need to get DaVinci Resolve 17.5 one and i will cover native and unnative apps in another video so make sure you subscribe because this is just the beginning we're going to do everything with these things and we're going to slam these things one thing i will notice was when i was downloading everything the fans would not come on like they would usually with a macbook pro 16 i'll get this out of the way in a sec and we'll do some gaming yes some gaming it was getting warm and i like my max cold i like the cold metal and yeah the fans weren't coming on, which is good if you don't like to hear noise, but it was warm and it was warm underneath. I measured the temperature, it was about, you know, 37 degrees skin temperature. It was just, you can imagine in summer, if you're downloading heaps and that, I don't think they're going to put the fans on at all unless you're really slamming it. And yeah, check out my last video if you want to know how loud it is under full load. Oh man, this is hilarious. Free Fortnite from Apple. Oh, do they know I'm playing on Apple Silicon? Come on, let's do it. And I actually tried the Xbox Series X controller and the PS5 controller, see if they'll hook up, I don't know. All right, so let's go to the settings here and oh, right, full screen and probably won't be able to get 1080p because of the weird resolution of the Mac because it's 16 by 10. So I'll go to 1050 aggressive. So we'll go 1440 by 900 here. So I'm going to reference this XPS 13. Now this has 1165G, the Iris XE Plus graphics. And I've done the gaming review. I haven't released it yet. And I'll also be comparing it to this. Now I will be referencing this one, but from all the benchmarks, and I have all the benchmarks here, from all the benchmarks I've done, the difference between those two is like negligible. It's almost like margin of error. So when I'm referencing that, pretty much the Radeon graphics on the 4800U is very similar to this, all right? Let's see if Apple Silicon graphics is any good. Well, obviously I can't go to 1080p because of the 16 by 10 res. I went to low settings and I was getting about 60 FPS on this XPS 13, same with the sort of 4800U on the A system so this is all low uh, 1490 I can't go any higher than that because that's higher than 1080 and that's lower than 1080 all right we'll apply that is running in emulation now the thing to know about emulation with you know especially games is if it's running in metal it's virtually native anyway so even though this game was made for an Intel Mac because it uses metal the calls are the same and the way it uses the GPU is the same. So virtually the GPU portion or the GPU rendering is 
native so this is doing a constant 120 fps now i can tell you now there's no chance that that um, intel iris xe graphics is doing 120 fps i know it's slightly less resolution all right so we're dropping on the ground here and i can tell you now i can go up a resolution no problems here this is running metal so as i said before it's virtually running native even though it's an intel app and this is actually destroying both the Ryzen GPU and the GPU on the um, the Intel graphics there on the XPS 13. The XE graphics, this absolutely destroys them. There's no chance of getting 120 FPS on those. Okay, she's crashed or something. Well, this is the thing, right? I'm going to have to start this game again. Yeah, it's unresponsive. I don't know what's going on. I'll just... And this is the thing, I've had a couple of hiccups here, like things timing out and stuff like that when I've been installing stuff. So it's not going to be a rose garden. This sort of stuff is going to happen all the time. Right, so this is actually nuts. It's still doing 120 FPS and it's doing higher than 1080p now. What the actual... I bet you Apple wanted to use this in their demo, but yeah, they're having that wall, that nice wall with Epic. So yeah, um... This is just amazing performance. It's just doing a solid 120 the whole time. This graphics kills any other integrated graphics and this would compete with some other lower end like 1050 or something like that. So let's just crank it up. Hopefully it doesn't crash. All right, so she's flashing. Oh my God, Xbox wireless controller connect. Oh, wolf. Awesome. So Xbox Series X, no problem. Can we get PlayStation controller? All right, so let's move on here. Probably user error, but I haven't got all night to test it out. I'll test it tomorrow. All right, so I'm trying Counter-Strike, and the thing is, if it's not using metal, it probably won't work. And as you can see here, it's saying OpenGL something something, and I don't even think um, Big Sur has OpenGL, does it? So I think that's deprecated, so let's try another game. I mean, this ain't a very detailed scene, but yeah this is full resolution all right this is the resolution of the display this is not 1080p this is just wow oh man these graphics are pretty cool i gotta say all right so now i'm gonna just go for gold i mean this is really just to test the graphics i mean it's crashing look it's playing up it's jury i don't even know what the hell it's doing it's tripping out all right so we've learned something here connecting this controller was making it trip out it was like trying to switch in between being an xbox controller being controlled by that and being controlled by the keyboard so that's why it was flipping out max res native resolution let's go to high we don't want to go to ultra just maximum resolution so that's 16 by 10 2560 by 1600 the resolution of the display and high settings we'll apply that and see how we go here. What the hell? I'm doing 40 FPS and it's native resolution on high. What the? This is like dedicated graphics. This is just nuts. This is crazy. All right, so yeah, that's nuts. This is like high settings, right? The native resolution, 2560 by 1600. I mean, 1080p, it was doing like 120 FPS, like capped. Like this thing is just nuts. It, that's all you need to know. This GPU is just kills anything from Intel XE or Radeon integrated graphics. This is like dedicated, dedicated graphics quality performance, should I say. Apple, we're not joking. These things fly. All right, I've got to do one test. Is it a full moon out there? Because I had some people telling me that, oh, it wasn't a fair test compared to the AMD and the Intel because uh, you didn't have them plugged in or you didn't have this plugged in and you had those plugged in and it wasn't fair. Well... I can tell you now, Macs don't worry about being plugged in, unplugged. Even the 96 watt uh, MacBook Pro 16, yeah, no problems. Like on battery, it performs exactly the same. And that's what you see here, unless I'm wrong. But there you go. Exactly, well, near enough, exactly the same score as when it was unplugged. So, woof. All I've got to say is one thing Apple were not joking. These things fly and. Whoo, whether your games will play or not is another thing on whether you can get the games to play on here but this is capable of any integrated graphics and probably a 1050 sort of power it looks like so anyway catch you next one tally ho